What's up, guys? Two guys, one canvas. Back with our second first episode. That's right. Thank you for joining one, us again. The first one was unsearchable and poorly named. Yeah, we're gonna we changed it up. Some of you might be severely disappointed when you click on this, and it's not what you think. There's no jars going in butts. Sorry, this is a drawing channel. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna share. If you haven't uh, caught our old video. What we like to do here is we like to share a canvas and create a piece of art together. And today we decided to do a little, to do a little bit of a Korosami appreciation. So we'll be drawing some... In honor of the proudest of months. Yeah, of course. In honor of uh, Pride Month, we wanted to go ahead and make a Korosami ship, which is my... Honestly, one of my uh, favorite ships that, that happened in that. I really didn't expect Nickelodeon to do that, but I'm glad they did do that. It was a. It can't, I remember when uh, when I watched the last episode, I was like, "What? No way!" I, I thought it was pretty awesome. We were discussing it a little Cor before, but I don't think uh, Mako treated her right. Korosami walked, so all the modern ships could run. Yeah, very good ship. Honestly, I thought it was cool of Nickelodeon to do that. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna do a little bit of Korosami. I guess I'll do. I'll do uh, Sami. Osami, so um, Osami Sato? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sato. Now, I'm thinking, what what kind of pose are we getting here? Um, Are they sitting or standing? Let's establish I'm that. I'm thinking, I'm doing like a sitting situation here. Okay, that's perfect. And then I'll do, I'll go on the right side of you maybe and do, oh, I have an idea. Okay. So let's do like a. Uh, where's your leg gonna be? Wherever your leg I'm is, gonna I'm go. gonna. Oh, perfect. Let's go in like leg, legs over here. Okay. Um, legs over here. Okay, then we can kind of. Uh, entangle maybe. Let me see. Mm, it does take two to tangle. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's getting like a leaning, a leaning pose. Okay. I'll try to do one. Yeah, sorry for all the the 18 people that watched the last one. If you were expecting big titty uh, political figures, we're going to have to save that for another day. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a little bit of a hot topic to draw a big titty Putin right now. Yeah, we, <laughs> we didn't want to jump on the bandwagon, so... <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, how to draw hands with one singular brush that is not very good for sketching <laughs> yeah this is not yeah this art pro it's i mean I, I i like that this thing is free you know thanks for that whoever made it but Wanting ten dollars for brushes is insane. <laughs> yeah, if anyone has a better alternative to um, draw together on, that would be cool. Yeah, please. <laughs> I think uh, there's Draw.io, but I'm not sure if that's. I think we could also do animations on there. Might we might try that? We're always open to any suggestions, no matter how. Uh, dumb they are so literally if anyone gives us any suggestion we will do it just out of respect for first we haven't got anybody commenting yet so the dumber the better honestly yeah, the stupider the better yeah we're not afraid to have some fun with it as long as it's <laughs> not uh like fucking crazy hate for something <laughs> then we're willing to do it pretty much anything like we will put titties on anything we will give a brazilian butt lift to any character that you want let us know. <laughs> SpongeBob bikini wax. <laughs> SpongeBob bikini big bottoms. Let's see. Got a. This Cora is looking okay, but I don't know if it's muscular and or thick enough. I'm struggling. She thinking. she do be pretty juicy. She do be hitting the gym. Yeah, she do be getting her protein. Yeah, she is really juicy. Yeah, 
and of course sleeves are uh, for nerds. Not a sleeve in sight for Cora. No, thank you. Maybe do the kind of the. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to go over your thing. Maybe I won't do that yet. I'll do that part once you've drawn the leg. I want to put her hand like on the leg, but I don't want to get in the way of your design, so I'll wait. Till I'll do the other side uh, for now. I was thinking this leg goes behind your character. Uh, the this one. The, yeah, this back one. Okay, that one goes behind. Okay, then I'll put. Well, I'll start working on the other side for now because I don't want to mess with your design too much. Please mess away. <laughs> That's what Cora looks like, right? All right, this drawing's done. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Drawing what, sir? Oh, yeah. Give me a little. Yeah. Huh. What is going on? Uh. We have to pause for a second, John. Done. You know, all things considered, this hand could be a lot worse. <laughs> oh yeah. So I think that's a decent looking hand for now. Yeah, it could always it be. Do. Oh, hands could always be worse. Oh yeah, don't. Yeah, so, don't. I've seen. Hair. I feel. I do feel like the. The. Uh, AI art took it to a new, uh, <laughs> so I know they're getting better at it or whatever, but I feel like they did take it to a new, like it was a different way of doing hands bad. That was really funny because people have been drawing, <laughs> you know, we've been drawing, like I've drawn a lot of bad hands. People have been drawing hands bad for a while. There's, you know, it's a fucking form with lots of turns, but, uh, <laughs> the AI art did it in a really, I feel like they did it even, they just did it in a very different way <laughs> where it was like, so it's like, who would. It's like if somebody drew like a shit ass shape, was just like, uh, uh, b -j -b -z, this is a hand, and then rendered the fucking living shit out of it. <laughs> it's, it's like if someone stuck their hand in a vat of acid and yeah. then used it as reference. <laughs> and at least the acid hand would have like fucking bones showing or some something, you know what I mean? <laughs> something sick. Yeah, something fucking badass. What kind of outfit does she have? She's got kind of like a military garb thing. <laughs> Can you erase these uh, mustache and eyes? Uh, sorry, those are <laughs> the, the, those the woo face. <laughs> those are permanent details. <laughs> You're gonna have to work around that. Yeah, if if we get a if we get let's if we get if we get one hundred likes, I will let. Uh, I will let John tase me. <laughs> I will let 400k tase me. One like, if we get one like, I will slap him in the face. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'd rather be tased. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we got to set realistic expectations. I think being tased is funnier. I feel yeah, like the tase is not likes. as... Yeah, that's why... I know that's why I said it. Because <laughs> I don't have to get tased. <laughs> Yeah, if we get fucking, if we get 10 likes, we will uh, fight a bear. We will break into the zoo and we will fight a black bear. <laughs> Yo, like why has the bear got to be black, though? You want to fight the brown bear? Uh, I think it's, I think they, they, I think it's, they took away the polar bear, so we can't come after the polar bear. Damn. At least where I live, I live in the goddamn desert. And they thought it was a good idea to have a fucking polar bear here. <laughs> Phoenix, which is nearby me, does have the fucking sickest, one of the most badass aquariums I've ever been to. Which I was surprised. 
that our sure. aquarium out here is pretty nice too. Nice. Let's see. Is this properly? Is this drawing serving, as the kids say? Uh, I think it's. I think it is serving. Uh, oh. I hope it's serving so that people don't call us little bro or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no way, little bro just did that. <laughs> I'm trying Let's to get see. this. Get that little fur trim. I could. How would this hand go? Oh, is that too? Hmm. Maybe she hooks it in on the thigh. Hmm. Man, I think I should just need to move her farther away to get what I'm going for. Where's the select tool? How do I move things in this? Oh, it's probably the same. As... Uh, oh, yeah, nice. Oh, but it moves all my shit. I got a lasso it. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the lasso move tool? The, the one no. canvas. Yeah. Come on, this thing has a lasso tool, right? Or does it not? Uh, I see square, I see circle. Okay, do I have to just use the. Um, no, there's, there's a lasso. It's the like the circle with the arrow cursor above it. Oh, there it is. And then we should be able to move this bad boy individually. Oh, no, that didn't work like I thought. Let's see. Now we can move it individually. Wears, okay. Yeah, because I want to big be, old boots. I want to be a little farther. And then maybe she's sitting kind of cross-legged too. That's perfect. That will work. Uh, da, 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 da. Can how do I cancel selection? There we go. All right, I'm starting to get the little. The last time we fucking did this, this program was the was really uh, was not used to it. I've, I haven't been drawing. Uh, I've been drawing digital again, trying to learn. If you want to see any of it see any of it you can check out my channel uh, at bright paints or you can check me out on twitter if you want to see I'm currently doing a 100 day drawing challenge it's pretty fucking fun like just it's just good to i don't know it was just good to uh you know uh commit to it for so long and i think the i feel like uh i always learn a lot when i do things like this like a long time ago i did uh, 30 paintings in 30 days and it's when I learned uh, the most it's when my brush work got the most loose I feel like and I've been noticing that uh, lately to a drawing I was drawing mostly in traditional first but there's something yeah about... the um, the daily drawing challenge always gets the gets you in the zone like last year I did um, I did Inktober, so I did 30 ink drawings yeah. uh, in one month, or 31. And then I did, immediately after that, I did Inktober, but with painting. And so I did 30 digital paintings in November. And yeah, my the difference in my skill from then to now is like pretty noticeable. Oh, yeah. And I feel like what but it does, even... too... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Even my, um, just over like a few months, my skill from then has improved a lot. Like just staying consistent with it is really key. Yeah, that, yeah, it's true that. Very shiny. And I feel like it helps us, it helps, uh, with me at least, it's, it helps, uh, or with most, most people, I feel like it helps you get to a certain quality that you're used to much faster, which really lets you explore different, uh, techniques more. I've been learning new ways to color instead of just using the one that I'm comfortable with and new ways to render things, working on some like, uh, kind of working on like this rusty sci-fi boat thing. It's just fun making, you know, it's just fun making, drawing rusty shit. 
Yeah, I've I'll been, put like, up expanding uh, my background stuff. Editor, put up some of our art right now. Hurry up. We have a boy for this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's me. I do it. <laughs> I'm going to put up some of our art he's, right here and here. Bloop, bloop. He's the boy. Yeah, I'm the boy right now. we got to hire a boy. If anyone has a uh, boy who they want to get, who they want to rent out to us, who knows editing, um, and who we can pay uh, terrible wages to, please let us know. Yeah, any <laughs> pseudo slave labor out there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's see. I gotta, Obviously. Make, I gotta make this bi this bicep pop. All right. Everybody, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. This bicep has to pop. Everybody, shut the fuck up. My bicep's gonna pop. <laughs> kind of like a cross leg thing. Maybe I'll go under your your thing situation. I feel like this isn't the right. It's got to go more this oh, way. Oh, I mean, I was thinking this is the floor. Oh, okay. I thought they were like hanging. Oh, I think she was. I first. They I could was be imagining sitting on this. I was imagining a uh, uh, couch, and I was imagining this. It could be like a cushion. Could be a couch or a ledge. You just got to go like this way under the leg. And not straight under the foot. Might have to change her. I don't know if that, if you, the leg can do that. Might look weird. Gonna have to see. I gotta change her direction. Gotta beef up this other arm because if there's anything Cora is. It's not skinny. No. Girl, that girl hitting them weights. I'm gonna lower this uh, knee. I know what I'll do. I'll just lower the leg and add more torso. I've, I've never drawn. Uh, I don't think I. I, I have done. I actually, I, I have never. Mind, I was gonna say I haven't drawn Avatar fan art, but I did do uh, one. But it's of uh, uh, Avatar. Well, Ang. Last Airbender. Yeah, of Last Airbender. I did the one where the giant sea monsters attacking them in colored pencil and those are a lot of fun to do learned a lot from that one too just because um learned a lot from that one too just because uh you know it was uh they, they have such they're so good at drawing on that show honestly the people who worked on that like i are incredibly hard working you can tell like you can just tell by the art the art is insane yeah, do you remember the, um, it was, like, required viewing for them to watch uh, Fooly Cooly? Yeah, which I thought that was really cool, because I've always thought that it, uh, I am probably the last living Fooly Cooly uh, fan alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of, there's a lot of them, but I feel like I am one of the last super fans alive. I have a lot of, I have the fucking Fooly Cooly, uh, you know, I have the storyboard used for, that was used for, uh the show did was it why isn't my racer racing the fooliest and the cooliest hmm. okay. how yeah. is this how is this armpit connecting over here is this line yours because i can't erase it oh, oh i yes, made that line on. this one uh, yeah okay. there you go thank you thank you that was me illustrating where i thought the floor was floor gang <laughs> oh perfect i was about to be like what do her shoes look like and i'm looking at some references yeah fully coolly if anyone hasn't watched i feel like it's is it like maybe it's not for everyone sure like just like every show isn't but one thing that i think they did really well that a lot of shows can't do is they were able to tell a complete story in six episodes where there's a lot of shows where they get you know their shows where they get you know, 60 episodes or 24 or 12, whatever the common one is. And they can't even like give you like a real, like an ending. And they were able to like, they were able to really make it good. The, yeah, I feel like the, and I feel like the art style in Fully Cooly was really good too. They put a lot of love into that show. The expressions. Do you remember the moving manga part? That was like groundbreaking. Yeah. The moving manga part was groundbreaking. They, some of the, yeah, the movie manga part. I think they did some. 
I think some of the artwork in Fully Cooley was done in uh, some of the parts are done on glass too I'm pretty sure or maybe that might have been a different anime but uh, they did a lot of very hard techniques on that anime and one the animator one of the animators who was in charge um, I'm forgetting his name right now but he did a lot of like the really like intensely animated scenes like where he like sh where he hits like the giant uh, satellite back the giant satellite thing back into space like a baseball or the giant robot thing into space with his bat he animated that and like the amount of like thought that went into it i remember watching like an interview with him is is very it was i don't know it was just, it was just awesome i like we, we you know i like when people uh i really uh respect and like when people get you know put a lot of effort into things like art it uh it's just very uh, motivating and it gives us all the you know it gives us all these great shows and that's why we don't respect AI art because they're not putting effort in. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not a big AI. I think the AI has a lot of great uses, but I think art it really just does feel like a way to take the, you know. And this is coming from me, who also I like to make soft. You know, I do programming as well. I like to make soft. I like to uh, make things. I like to play with. Python, C++, some assembly stuff. You know, I've, I've done, I've played with a lot of them. And obviously I'm not a fucking, uh, you know, I'm not doing like, mach I'm not like fucking doing machine learning and shit with Python or anything. But the, uh, you know, I think that there's a lot of good purposes for AI. But I don't know if art is, like, I feel like using it for art is just going to uh, give companies who are cheap an excuse to not use artists. And I think that there's some, I think it right now, the AI, when I look at the art, it really doesn't impress me. Like, is it well rendered? Yeah, but it feels more like a filter. I think when we really have to worry is when it's able to replicate those like beautiful, imperfect human touches. Because even the really good professionals, like, uh, what is his name, like Craig Mullen and stuff, like they have these like beautiful little, like even though his work is like really perfect and stuff, if you get really close to it, like some of his new, more textured work, it falls apart more. And it has this like beautiful, imp these beautiful imperfections, and I think once they can map that to an array or whatever the fuck they're doing, uh, and really hone in on like that, that's when we'll be more in trouble. I think it's both. It's very powerful, but I also think um, it's not as far along as people may think. Like, uh, like one of the things I like to talk about is like uh, up until I think it was like a few years ago, like maybe like five years ago now, but like. Uh, they had just figured out how to like make a, a robot that could debone chicken correctly, and I, I think MIT was working on it. And it was like a huge like breakthrough or whatever, and it was just a fucking robot that could debone chicken. So like, it's not there yet. You know what I mean? Uh, I think we're still in the very beginning. You know, we're we're in the like rotary phone connected to the wall. That's like, you know, we're well. I don't know if we're in the very beginning stages. Yeah. Yeah, of the new AI, sure, but AI research, like AI work, has been going on for so long. But people are just more interested in now because of the power and accessibility of GPT. Yeah, you know, we might we might be on to like the big fat cell phones of the '90s or whatever that sort of level. Yeah, we're like, but, you know, what's it going to be like in twenty five years? Yeah, the power of it is, but I think that I do believe that uh, that it makes. I think that getting good at i think that to get good at art it's very important to i think it's important to not like be to uh i guess I, I i it's good to be passionate about digital or traditional but i don't i think it's very important to try to learn both because i think that they're both tools to enhance i think they both enhance each other you know what i mean i think that knowing traditional really helps you uh i think the traditional helps you get a I, I feel like the traditional helps you trust your instincts more because there's no like if you're doing the, the undo isn't as perfect you know if you have an eraser sure you can erase or whatever but if you're doing a painting or something you can't just undo it you could go over it with a lighter color or stuff there's like fixes but it's not perfect you know what i mean and it forces you to trust your instincts more and then you can take that into uh into digital and have all that like have the confidence in your skills but have the 
uh, power of the digital tools. Yeah, I know some digital artists really like, they really try to make everything perfect. They're like, you know, they do a Mirror. line, Mirroring undo tool. it, do a line, undo it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's do good Do a either. line again, undo it. And um, so I've learned to really just like let the little imperfections go because most people, they, they don't even look close enough. You know, like I know it's there, but they they didn't look close enough to see that like, you know, this little line is still here or yeah that like there's an unfilled gap where I didn't paint it and stuff. Yeah. And I think the, yeah, exactly. That's a good, that's a good point that the, about the imperfections and it's you be, people are, it's like you want to hold yourself to a standard, you know, to whatever the standard is that you want to learn, like what you want to learn. But I think you should also not, uh, like fall into the trap that's why i think it's important to do traditional because we both did traditional and i'm very comfortable with making bad art you know what i mean this isn't exactly perfect or anything it and that's okay it never needs to be perfect for me i just need to practice and get something done i also think that the uh the idea of uh the idea of i guess uh coming the, the reason i want I think it's important to go traditional first or at least to try it is, you know, it's like I said, it's important to get those, that confidence in the skills because you don't want to fall into the trap of like zooming in too much and doing these like little details that nobody can see. And I think it's important that, you know, it's, it's always important to keep, if you want to get better at art, like I think it's important to keep an open mind about, uh, you know, not getting too set in your ways being willing to learn from a lot of the because there's a lot of really good artists out there that have content for free like uh we both really like uh uh mark burnett there's a lot My of people, man there's a lot of people out there who have uh you know who make really good art or i think are like just will uh just kind of motivating like i, I really like to we've talked about him before but i really like uh 1000s work he's uh I think he's uh, very inspiring. He went from, you know, just from uh, being an artist, just being a graffiti artist, to opening his own store in Seattle, to moving to Washington and starting a business. I mean, moving to uh, Michigan, I think, and starting an even like his clothing brand got bigger and bigger, and now he has like a whole warehouse for YouTube videos. Yeah, he got us five hundred. 5,000 square foot? I don't even know. 500,000 square foot place? I think it was I mean, worth $500,000 well. or something. Yeah, 500,000 something. My man's doing well for himself. Yeah. It would, he should have bought one. He should have bought one that was $400,000. <laughs> he needs to watch his back because I'm coming for him. <laughs> you were coming for you, Peter. No, not really. Oh, man. And why is my yeah but Peter's a big brush, inspiration for me? Brush. He's a great artist. Also, people like uh, I think people like um, uh, Jazza may not be everybody's like favorite artist with, or whatever, but I think he is one of my favorites on YouTube because he really uh, you know he he has I think he's uh, I like his his uh, <clears throat> variety because I think. It really helps you to some of the best artists that I know know how to do everything. You know what I mean? They don't just draw, they don't just paint. Like the best artists that I know, they can do sculpture, three D, digital, animation, uh, drawing on illustration on paper, painting. And I think it's very important to keep your interests wide if you want to keep growing, because getting too into like being like, oh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't need to learn uh, landscape art. I only want to draw characters. I don't think that's good because both character art and landscape art can, uh, uh, you know, has helped me learn a lot and I keep learning from it. You know, there's always more to learn, constantly wanting to get better. Yeah, I've been thinking of it'd be nice to get into um, 3D and making models and stuff, but boy, howdy, that's all other can of worms. The learning curve is hard, but I think it really uh helps 
I think animation and modeling in general are one of the ways that you can get because to be honest, I think the most important thing, like if you want your art to be good, you have to be a strong illustrator. Being a strong draftsman will always uh being a strong draftsman, I feel like will always make your drawings better. If you can Yeah, like drawing on its own, like illustrating is like the foundation and then yeah. like, you know, painting is the um the next level up and then yeah, because you build color on those. Yeah, I agree. Cuz color itself color alone is i think useless like if you're just applying color to a shitty to like a drawing that has no real base like maybe you can make it good if you spend a lot of time but if you just have a good underlying structure like the drawing it's going to be so much easier to make it look good even just with like a lazy color i think it like shape is first like illustration and then value and then color and I think, like, color is obviously fun because, you know, we want to, like, even me, like, it's, you know, I, we all, it's just fucking fun to, to color. It's fun to make things very colorful. But I do think it's important to, if you want to get good, to do uh, illustration. To focus on illustration first. And I've heard that animating is the is the best way to get good at illustration because it's, I think it's one of, I think it's the toughest uh I think like animating and 3D modeling are the toughest uh, disciplines in art right now. Mm. Like I think, especially animation, because you have to draw hundreds of thousands of drawings. And uh, I was listening to Craig Mullen talk about this, and he was talking about how if he could go back, like, and to try to make himself better with the knowledge he's gained now, that he would uh, he would be an animator, because he said it forces you to to draw hundreds of thousands of times and. Uh, it and it make them and consistent it it with each other and stuff. yeah exactly you have to hold consistency or else your character if you can't hold character the uh which is you know something i've struggled i struggle with too is uh if you can't hold character then yeah it's not going to look good obviously it's going to look like a oh, wait, different i character. think this this boot needs to be a different color there oh and these these bracers need to be that dark blue also i feel like that made her a little too skinny she is i think she is pretty thin though but she is a skinny queen yeah she's a skinny queen that skin the heiress to match the muscle mother <laughs> the muscle <laughs> mom muscle mommies where you at <laughs> hit me up hit me up hit hit up my uh hit up my editor and he'll get in contact with me <laughs> damn i should have should have referenced um, Lean Beef Patty. Oh fuck, we should have. Lean Beef Patty's badass, <laughs> and I really, I really think it's, I think it's really cool how many people she's gotten into fitness. I watched. Uh, I've I've been doing fitness for a long time, but there's periods of time where I stop working out and stuff. And I remember watching her do uh, her warm up routine once on TikTok or something. I'm not on TikTok anymore because it's, I think it's uh, too distracting. So I try not to go on any of those apps. Well, I'll rant about that later. But, uh, yeah, I think she, uh, she did like a warm up a video showing up or like showing what her warm up is and stuff, what she does to like, uh, like her initial workout in the morning. And it was like, she did so many pull-ups. I had to go outside and do some pull-ups. You know what I mean? I think she's, uh, <laughs> she's motivating a lot of people and she, I mean, and she's, I don't know. She just, she just seems really, she seems like a cool person. Great positive vibes. Yeah, really good positive vibes, and I think it's, like, you don't get, you don't look like her without putting in a stupid amount of work. <laughs> like, she is, she's in great shape. Honestly, gold bod. <laughs> 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 Let's see, is this hair dark enough? I guess I just want the hair to match the boots. I don't remember where because I like to keep my color palette pretty limited. So, like, if something can be the same shade, then I like let it be the same shade. Yeah, I think it's good to start. I think that's a good way to to do it. Make it kind of uh, simple, and uh, what is it called? Make it kind of simple, and then I feel like it's easier to. Uh, 
you know, if you want to correct, there's there's a lot of really powerful tools. I really recommend using the uh, what is it called the uh, overlay tool. If you uh, not overlay, sorry, the the using an overlay layer on uh, you can like correct any colors that you don't like. So if you you know, I think it's good to start dark or even you, you can even do grayscale and then completely color it with the overlay, which is really fun to do, too, because then you let your you let your mind think about um, your mind can think about things like the, uh, the value values. like this. Let me make it just here on the side. And that's so much easier to think like this than it is to. uh it's so much easier to think in this than it is to be like, oh, like, oh, this, well, this red, oh, does it look good? I got shaded with this red, oh, it's too muddy or whatever. Like, then you don't have to think about that. You can give your brain more time to think about kind of making it look, uh, you know, just look good the way you want to make it look. This is, uh, I think we're taking a very different, this is a very different episode than last time. Much more art advice talk and less, uh, Less talking about <laughs> murdering uh, robot future <laughs> Ben Shapiro. <laughs> ben Shapiro's people contact us. Get, we'd love to have you on the pod, Ben. <laughs> yeah, if, if Ben wants that to come be, do some doodles, like ben, honestly, follow. like you're not my favorite guy, but if you want to come on the pod, come on, fuck it, that'd be hilarious. Come and hash, hash it out. Yeah, come. We can hash. Yeah, we can. You want to squash? I think Ben should come on and we can squash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't care about him enough to have uh, any beef. Just joking. No, yeah, we we made a fucking like an OC that was like a future assassin, and we were trying to think. We were kind of thinking like Futurama, how like head those like heads that are in uh, jars but have like robot bodies, like Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What color are Cora's eyes? I'm assuming blue. Yeah, I feel like it'd be funny if they were brown. <laughs> I don't think they would be blue, right? She's water nation. She's water nation, no. bro. Blue is what all the water tribe people's eyes are. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I mean, because she's water nation. Water tribe. Water tribe. Let's see. Does this, does this program have like multiply layers? Oh my god, it does. <laughs> it does? Let's freaking go. Where did you find them? Oh, it's in, I see it so, in the normal. Yeah, yeah, I found it. What uh, What color light are we having? Are we doing like a... Um, I don't know, let's do a like a nice... Like a warm light, a cool light. Um, where would they be? I guess let's set the scene. Where are they? I feel like they'd be in Asami. This kind of seems like they're in Asami's big ass mansion or something. So I feel like it would have a yeah. warm light, like from a chandelier or something. Or like a open window with the sunset. Yeah, sunset coming through. Maybe we can make it kind of orangey. Now let's see. I don't think we have any blur tool, oh, which really? is okay. Well, we don't which is that. going to be. Oh, well, I can do a soft. Soft brush. I'm trying to figure out how this would. Oh yeah, the soft brush ain't bad. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, this me. this thing is I... actually pretty decent for drawing. Yeah, sorry about talking shit earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta finish coloring these little shirt highlights. Little rims. It's way bigger than the other one. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, truck it. <laughs> she's, been, she's been hitting the gym, bro. Fuck it, truck it. She's like Trendamere. Her right arm is a lot stronger than her left. <laughs> right. I'll multiply. Because I could make this other one bigger. Shoot. To match. What color did I have? Get that soft brush bag. Who do you fucking... So, who do you think... Uh, I wonder who fucking... Uh, 
I feel like, is it Bo Lin who always gets fucked in the anime? <laughs> what happens? I wonder what happens to him after Koro saw me leave and his fucking brother dated both of them. And he like, <laughs> does, what, does he get a happy ending? I don't remember. He got an Earth Nation bad bitch. You don't remember? No, I don't. Fuck, I freaking forgot. I, it's been so. Her, I don't even think. Her name is Opal. I need to finish it. I've always been. I've been like. I don't know. I've always. I've been. Uh, there's a lot of things I haven't finished watching. I don't think I actually finished watching uh, Korra. Like I know what happens at the end, with her and uh, Sami and Korra going through the portal because I've seen clips and shit. But I didn't. Finish I swear, it. I didn't did... finish it. Did me and you not watch it together? We probably we watched some episodes of it, but we didn't watch all of it together. Yeah. Back in the day. Oh yeah. Let's see. These shadows are not ideal, but you know, nothing in life is. Nothing in life is perfect. Except for Korosami. Except for Korosami, yeah. Except for at Bright Paints and at 400k. Check us out on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, if you want to see some hot garbage, go on my at Bright Paints shorts. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I w I'm really comfortable with... Uh, I'm much more comfortable with making garbage than I was in the past. I thought I made a new layer. The fuck is why are they why did it make both of them? What do both of them make? Did I just duplicate the layer? Isn't the new layer button just uh, a plus next to the paper? Um, I think so. It looks like all your stuff is on layer two and there's did... not much on layer five. Whenever I put I don't know why when I turn on layer five it makes uh, makes layer two disappear. What the fuck did I do? What? <laughs> fuck it, I'll just make another one. Layer eight. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna when in one. doubt, layer it out. gotta say my favorite thing is drawing like clothes and shoes mm -hmm. and like specifically these the like seam lines that go along the side of the pants and stuff i'm a sucker for a good seam or a well-drawn shoe quite like the shoe in your your girl eating the ramen drawing oh, thank you that was uh I was I was happy with that one. You know that I fucking had one of my one of my uh a friend of mine who's sort of my not sort of honestly has been one of my art mentors for a while. His uh when they saw it I was happy because they're very hard to impress. <laughs> and uh they uh they were like, "Oh, you're you're conquering the digital." And I was like, "Oh, good." Yeah. yeah. And they oh, never and give, the... they do not compliment me. <laughs> Yeah, the pants look really good on it, too. Thank you. Huh. Let's see. What the Shadow hell am I doing on the wrong, button. Don? Why is, this, why is making this new layer visible um, making my... Uh, it makes my shit disappear. And the... I have no idea. This program is arcane and unknowable. I don't think I'm doing anything weird. Is one of my buttons stuck? No. Yeah, because where did you did you put your you just put your color layer under your line layer, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was fucking trying to do. But for some reason, it's uh. If I make this one visible, it hides my other one. Why is it hiding it? It's on top of it. What? Is it like linked to it somehow? Maybe I don't fucking wait a second. They're not. Because I see some kind of downward arrow thing. Uh, that doesn't even show up on mine. Uh, yeah, I do see that downward arrow thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. Let's see, toggle clipping group. There, I turned 
clipping group off. That's probably what it was. It must have turned some. Yeah, it must have turned something on. See, I'm yeah, glad you I had, had them you like, because they were linked or something. Yeah, I think it was like referencing the other layer or some shit. But uh, there we go. Now I can have that layer visible and fucking fill things. Does her outfit go all the way to the sleeves? Oh, it doesn't. She has like gloves on. Sometimes. Well, I'll just say the gloves are off right now. Gloves on or gloves off? It's kind of hard to decide now. Fuck. Gloves are pretty sick. Oh, no. <laughs> so you uh, get an overlay layer, soft brush. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not doing it wrong. Doesn't even let me fill this bitch. Let me t do a test circle. I'll lower the opacity on this overlay layer because it's a little too harsh. Do a test circle. Bucket. Huh. Lower what the fuck? The more. bucket fills. I, I just must have a bunch of openings on my... Uh... Or I was probably just filling... Actually, I think I know what I was doing. <laughs> I think I was just on the wrong... Oh, no. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, there must just be openings in my line work. I'll just close them, close them up. I've just been using, um, I use the lasso tool and then I paint bucket it. Oh, that's true. I could just do that so I don't have to fucking fill in all the little gaps. Hmm. Good night. Thanks for watching.